everyone, we're going to find the indefinite integral for these three examples. This is an introductory uh, video for integration. So uh, here are your properties of uh, indefinite integrals here. And for the first one, I'm going to use uh, this one and split this up. Using um, that property. I can also use my constant property and pull this 3 out. Then we can integrate each piece. The uh, antiderivative of cosine is sine. So this is just sine of x. And then we have minus 3. And then for this one, we're going to use our power formula. So that's going to be x to the uh, 2 plus 1 power divided by 2 plus 1. Then we put plus c here. So we have sine of x minus 3 x cubed divided by 3 plus c. And this equals the 3's cancel sine of x minus x cubed plus c for your constant. All right, now for the next one, um, this is basically just um, using your power formula. So we have uh, integral x to negative 2 dx. So all you're going to do is write x negative 2 plus 1 divided by negative 2 plus 1 uh, plus c. So this gives you x to the negative first power uh, divided by negative 1. This equals negative um, x to the negative first power plus c. Uh, uh, also good to write this as 1 divided by uh, 1 divided by x plus c uh, if you want to get rid of your negative exponents. And then uh, this one it's a bit of a combination of these two. Now for this one, I'm not going to split it up like I did this. So uh, after a while, you can get used to uh, not taking all the steps. So basically, we're just going to take uh, t is 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 minus, and I'm going to go ahead and write this as t to the negative 2 power. So now you're going to add plus 1, and then this is uh, copy down your exponent, negative 2 plus 1 plus c. A lot of times we tend to skip this step because it, uh, it helps speed things up a little bit. So now we get t cubed divided by 3 minus t to negative 1 power divided by negative 1 plus c. I uh, would like to uh, straighten this up a little bit. So we have 1 third t cubed. These two negatives make a positive. And then you can write this as 1 divided by t to get rid of the negative uh, exponent. And that will be your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.